As I said, the FCA has been very outspoken um, and, dare I say, it's sometimes very robust publicly, as well as, of course, privately, um, in relation to the importance that you place on creating more diverse teams and a more inclusive workplace. Why is that, Nick? Why is it so important to the FCA? Because ultimately, what we want to see are businesses that are run really well. We want to see well-controlled, well-governed businesses uh, where uh, challenge is not only tolerated, but actually nurtured, encouraged, embraced, welcomed. And we see that too. We see not enough of that. And I think it's interesting to look at those figures where we see progress is too slow. Now, if I'm a regulator, I will always tell you progress is too slow on everything, so that, uh, perhaps not surprising. But I, I think we are seeing progress, but we're not seeing enough of it, and particularly in the asset management sector, where there is such a long way to go just to get to a standing start. But what I think is interesting, and it's a challenge, but as, and also there's a lot of opportunities here. Um, you're seeing a sector that's under pressure from changing client demands. You're seeing a new client base, a younger client base, actually really actively taking an interest in where, where their capital is being invested. Uh, ESG, social impact investing, so, and so on. And that means that the demands of your client base is changing. And therefore, the way management approaches uh, issues like product governance, uh, corporate purpose, what are we here for, what are, the, what, are the, what, what are our products and services contributing to the world, becomes really, really central. And you cannot embrace those challenges if you have a, a, a monoculture or a culture whereby uh, diversity and, and inclusion, which are not quite the same thing, uh, are, not, are not absolutely respected and seen as, as a key business driver. And we know that more diverse uh, portfolio management teams tend to deliver better results. Uh, but also, th there's a broader point around if you're going to be investing, if you're going to be providing uh, investment services for the whole of the population, then frankly, your, your businesses need to reflect those pop that population as well. So I think we do need to see more progress there. I think we are seeing progress. We are seeing better engagement at the executive layer. I see less resistance now when I'm talking to CEOs about these things. Uh, but ultimately, if you want a business that's fit for purpose, that's well run, well governed, and you know, will will have a sustainable business model in the years to come, this isn't a choice. I think this isn't this is a business imperative.